Now this is really a revision of previous years, but I would love you to understand this because if you understand where formulas come from, it's so much easier to, if you forget, to figure it out yourselves. Okay, so the area of rectangles and triangles, all of you should know this, but why is it like this? If I have a rectangle, and we call this the length, and we call this the width, um, some books calls it, calls it the breadth, so length and width, if I want to know what's the area, I want to know what is the square units. So if I measure that, and I get a certain number of centimeters, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it will be 7 centimeters by, and if I measure this, and it works out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will give us 7 by 5, which gives us 35 square centimeters, or square millimeters, or whatever it is. So for a rectangle, it's pretty easy. We're going to say the area of a rectangle is length times width. Why? Because it will tell us exactly how many square blocks we will have, as long as the units are the same. And that's a very important thing. We're always going to get the units the same. So length times width is really elementary. You've done this all the way down to primary school. Let's really look at why rectangles, most of you know what rectangles are. The, the, the area of rect, sorry, the area of rectangle. The area of rectangle have one of two things. The area of a rectangle equals base times perpendicular height divided by 2 or half base times height. And that height is perpendicular. So the word perpendicular, what does the word perpendicular mean? Perpendicular means perpendicular is shown like this, which means it is straight down, 90 degrees onto it, perpendicular, 90 degrees down. Let's look at what happens if I have the following. If I have a triangle, if I have a triangle, why does it work out to be based on side? What I'm going to do is I'm going to call this the base And I'm going to call the perpendicular height as the highest point of the graph coming straight down. So that is the height. That's the perpendicular height. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to double to exactly the same triangles. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this 90 degrees. So this straight line down. 90 degrees, I'm going to cut that straight down. And what I'll get, if I didn't take this part and I flip it around, it will give me then a rectangle. This will give me a rectangle. Okay, and what's the rectangle? The area of a rectangle is length times width. What is the length of this? It is B. So we'll say the area equals base times height. This will give us the total area, but I only want half of it. So I'm going to divide it by 2, or I'm going to say it's a half base times height. And that's where the equation comes from. That's where the formula comes from. So it's important for me that you understand why it is always half times the base times the perpendicular height. And this can be proved with any triangle. The last thing that you need to know is how to work with composite figures. So when a composite figure means it is a figure that is made up of something else. Composite figures. So a composite figure means made out of, made up by something. Okay, so if I have a figure like this, this 
then I can say this figure is made up and I can break it up into two parts. I can say if I do have a line here, I'm going to call this figure 1 and I'm going to call this figure 2. And in my area, my area will be the area of figure 1 plus the area of figure 2. For this it is length times width plus the area for a triangle it's base times height times divide by 2. This you can either add up or you can even subtract which means if I have a, a thing that looks like this and I had a rectangle cut out of that or a, a triangle then what I'll do is I'll get the total area and I'll subtract the area of the triangle and that will leave me with whatever I have. So you can either add or you can subtract. So let's call this then area 1 and we we'll call this area 2. So this will be the total area equals area 1 take away area 2. As long as you know what you're doing, um, and as long as you show your steps, doesn't matter which way that you do it around.